Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode. Today we'll be looking at 4D Golf. And if you're worried about what's happening in the background, don't worry, it's only going to get weirder. Let's get into it. Welcome to man. I am Cosmodius, the host for the Multidimensional Exchange Project program. I'll give you a hug, but unfortunately I'm a being of pure energy and you'd be instantly incinerated. Why not let at least try? Your primitive universe is very charming, but I'm sure you're excited to learn from us higher dimensional beings. Eh, I just want to play a few rounds, you know? Our world is quite different from yours, but I will help you get up to speed. Let's begin with training in the sacred and ancient tradition of Miniature Golf. I thought we were going to get a title drop then. 4D Golf. Bam. Okay, first hole. We're starting with something easy. I walk in 4D Golf. Your training will begin in a more primitive dimension. Walk to the crystal for more guidance. WSD, look around with mouse, okay? When you're ready, press spacebar to start putting and you'll be teleported to the ball. To explore again, simply start walking. If you ever lose sight of crystal, press C to find it. Okay, so we can go like this. Um, to putt, hold down the spacebar and use the mouse to hit the ball. Oh, it's one of these ones. You can also zoom in and out. We can get a nice close there. Other putty modes. Do we have to pull it back? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, not not too much sauce. Too much sauce. What are we doing? Okay, now just a little tap it in. That was a bit too much sauce, actually. Okay, doing all right. Where's the hole? Now it's time to open your third eye. Here, the fourth dimension is not time, but a new dimension, direction of space. To imagine, <laughs> Wardy, let's think about a lower dimension first. This 2D eye ball lives in a 2D universe and has 1D vision that scans the world. Okay. But if the 2D eye was dropped into a 3D world, it would be able to rotate its 1D vision in a new way. However, 3D objects will appear, disappear from view. Okay, I think I understand. I was, the eye would also be able to move in directions, but it would still perceive the world in slices, right? Four dimensions, your three eye can also move in two new dimensions called Anne and Carter. But I will also have new ways of rotating. In the fourth dimension, use Q and E. Hold left click with mouse to look around in 4D. Oh, damn. Okay. Right. So we can... Okay. Right, so we have north, south, east, and west. You see in our little compass there. So this is normal. Right? This is where we gotta get to. Um, you can only putt from the ball's position, regardless of where you walked or when exploring the course. It's best to look in forward or any... Your, okay. So... Right, so we can shift the, the hole from left to right, if we put it right here. Then we can putt. Oh, we're not we're not lined up that's okay okay um, we're underneath the hole how how do <laughs> how do we get to the hole okay the holes are there yeah my freaking mind's melting okay so what direction do we do, do we move? So we got to kind of cut, cut it so we have the ball as well as the hole. 
there's the hole. Okay, I think we got it. No. So we can do that. I still. Ooh, the sauce. I think we got it. Okay. And now, now we can do it. Okay, we got a bogey. One over, but you can't, you know, you can't fault me. This is multi-dimensional golf. Uh, you now receive an uh, essential tool in navigating four dimension. Explain how it works. Let's try it in a lower dimension. This tool brings your eye down to the track and then tilts it into a new dimension. Walls of the track now appear to surround you. In a 4D world, the walls around you look like a 3D box, and, sh and since the uh, gravity direction isn't in the slice anymore, it means you are floating when you're actually walking. Volume view. Okay, can help you get see the 3D shape of the flat course used. Man, this is like college level physics that we're doing here. I don't think. This is gonna be very good, but let's let's see what it's okay. This is not what I thought. Okay, so we can walk. We can float. Right. So there. So that kind of gives us a little example. So there's a hole in here, right? So okay. This is, we've made it the worst we could have. <laughs> there must be a hole in one. We've just got to take a slice. Which way? Something like this, maybe? There we go, we found it. Okay. So now if we just give it a little bit of sauce. Okay. I didn't expect us to lose it like that. How did it get over there? Please explain. <laughs> How is it so far away from us? I want to know why it moves when I don't want it to. <laughs> Let's go into voxel view. So we're here. I don't know what we've done there. Oh wow. Can we actually hit it in here? we move this okay that's that's a beautiful putt you can't say anything about that beautiful putt and we get a boat okay so I'm getting the volume view I wonder what all those ghostly shadows are I haven't noticed ghostly shadows and objects aren't visible in your slice, their ghosts are still projected into your sixth sense, okay? Sometimes obstacles block your view. For example, hills in volume view may appear as walls. Help you. Press one to toggle slice in. Oh my god. The screen is flat, so everything must ultimately get projected into 2D surface. Since you can't see the whole 4D space, this way, the ghost projections show where objects are located in a dimension you can't see. Right. Since sometimes uh, something looks like they're floating or disconnected, they can still be connected through fourth dimension. One way to test this is by scanning your view in 4D. If that track can morph until it connects to another, both are connected. Right, okay. So, at the moment. Um, no, we don't want to do that. We want to go into voxel view. Okay, so this is a hill. 
need to get out of that hill. One ghost. Um, I'm going to send it down here. I think it's got to give us a nice... No, no, no. No, no! I've done... I don't know where we are. <laughs> Have we just gone back to the start? The answer is yes. That, that's what I wanted. I have to do a little jump here. Okay, we're in here now. Now we can go into this view. Okay, it seems to not want us to go in there. So where do we have to go? Down there? Right. Come on, just lip that, yes. I saw you. Here we go. Hey, we got a bogey, that's not too bad. Um, what, what else can they teach us? The ability, the ability to phase. If ghost projections become too crowded, use your second side to alter them. Press two to toggle ghost projections. Okay. Right. Um, you can enable volume light option in the settings menu. In the volume light menu, the line will appear. Everything that touches the line will persist when the when you change views. Okay. When the line touches the hole's ghost projection, the real hole will be visible when e exiting the volume view. Right. Cool. Right now, we've got a little go through there. That was the wrong thing. Okay, that's okay. I'll take the five on a bogey. <laughs> not, not doing good, but we're close. We're getting there, we're feeling it. Just gotta, here's one final, a very important tool. You can find a lost ball or hole instantly, so you don't need to always search for it. H to find the hole, B to find the ball. It's easy to reverse your compass with east and west swaps, so the right turn becomes a left turn. In fact, there's no way to tell a left shoe from a right shoe if they can be rotated through the fourth dimension. Real 40 shoes need differences in all four dimensions to be distinguishable. I don't care about your shoes. <laughs> uh, when a wall is angled in 4D, walking into it can cause you to slide into the fourth dimension. It's easy to see why this happens in volumetric view. Yeah, so in volumetric view, we're here. Now you would think this is this is quite easy, right? All we need to do is fucking punt it at the wall. But why is that? Why would we do, not do that? So there's there's the hole. We press H. He's over there. Press B. He's over there. Press volume. And we fucking smash it. out of volume view. Just a little tap. Perfect. So volumetric view is really important to kind of get the whole view, but we can't use volumetric when we have heels. If you had a bad part, you can reset the ball while it's still rolling using R, but it will still count against your score. Okay. That's cool. Different compass styles to choose from. The isotope.
clinic compass shows directions on the rim. It's like a handheld compass. On a flight instrument. Well, I'm not a pilot, so. Right now, if we were to do this, this looks like Uh, is it possible that we can, so if we do this, we kind of put it into our drone view, right? I think that's quite good. Beautiful. So now we go to the... We, we, we want to find the hole. Okay. H for hole. And all we have to do is kind of send it a little bit. That's okay. I'll take the par. We're quite high at the moment, <laughs> but there's still time. There's still time to win. So what do you got to say? When locked to your ball, try using scroll rule to zoom all the way out in a volume view. Everything except for seeing everything from far away is often the best. Okay. So if we go this, right. Okay. Cool. This goes up and around, right? I don't know what button I pressed. That's my bowl. This is kind of us moving. I kind of wish I had. Just gotta send it. Oh, that was the, the worst thing we could do. That's that's not too bad. Okay. Hey, where's the hole? Alright, let me just go through okay, it's right there. Back to button. so good so if we just sink it from here okay it just goes in currently 30 we need to get this hole in one tilt at windmills fuck <laughs> using ghost color in the settings indicates the ghost projection sure you can replay the stereo any tutorial at any time okay so let's have a look in we go through this, we up around here, and then we have some stuff that's got to piss us off. No! Okay, so in voxel view, this is kind of hooked. I can't believe we've done that. We were so close to getting in par. No, we weren't. Scratch that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we got 35. So that was four dimensional goals. Golf. Very interesting. And obviously we could come in here and play a uh, single practice hole just so we can have a look.
not that one with the menu. Um, I wanted the dunes here. So let's just sand pit, right? Here we are. So we could have a look in our four dimensional shape. We seem to have a lot of sand here. So what does that look like? Well, right now we could kind of switch our thing. So I'm just gonna send it. And I'm gonna get to here and send it again. No, not out of the bounds. And then where's the hole? Right there. All we need to do, give it a little bit more than we, we need. I can't believe this. Maybe not as much as I thought. Just crest that hill. Okay, I'm embarrassing myself where I thought I played a pretty decent hole uh, not too long ago. Well, let's just say it went in. <laughs> so that was four dimensional golf. That was the tutorial. Uh, there's heaps of games to play. There is 18 holes for the evergreens. There's the dunes, the Arctic, the mezzanine, Inferno, Nebula, and of course, beyond. Um, yeah, it's, it requires a lot to get your kind of mind in the right place there. It kind of reminds me of the game where it was like five dimensional chest, uh, where you could go back in time and recheck yourself. So yeah, uh, very interesting. Go check it out if you like that stuff. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.